Recently, a viewer commented about the amount of health information available. So Mary from Tamarack has decided to break it down to the top three things that you should know about your body and your health. So Mary, why are there three things that are important for us? That's um, the one question we get all the time. What should we take? And I'm going to cheat a little and say that I think everybody should take a multivitamin, so I'm, I'm going to give that as a given. Um, my top number one pick would be a fish oil supplement. Fish oil has so many benefits. Fish oil can be broken down into DHA and EPA. The DHA is good for your neurological health, and the cardiovascular is from the EPA. Now with fish oil, we've talked about it before, and it's very important that we consider the source of the oil. That's true. Uh, you always want to look for a fish oil that comes from small fish, uh, sardines, anchovy, mackerel. Because they're smaller fish, they eat lower on the food chain. They have a lower chance of having any contaminants in them. And if you get salmon you, and tuna, mackerel, you might have a, or uh, tuna and uh, salmon, you might have a higher chance of getting some contaminants. The other thing you want to look for on the bottle is make sure it meets the Norwegian fish oil standards or the international fish oil standards for purity so there's no contaminants in your fish oil. Now number two is vitamin T, D, and we want to know, is vitamin D essential for people that live here in our area? Absolutely. In the winter, for sure. In the summertime, if you don't use sunscreen and you're out at least three to four times a week getting 20 minutes of sun on your arms, your back, your legs, you're fine. But in the winter, we're so bundled up, and certainly in the depths of winter, we know what that's like. Um, it's imperative, even for young uh, nursing infants. Um, if a, a mom's nursing, she has to give her baby that supplement. And for young children, they need the vitamin D. Uh, very few food sources have vitamin D, so a supplement is important. It will prevent rickets in children, which is soft bones and it will prevent osteoporosis in adults so it's important for both genders and all ages. Would you say if you get enough sunshine it's okay to skip your vitamin D but for sure in the winter time load up on your vitamin D? Absolutely yes unless you're drinking fortified foods and or eating fortified foods with a lot of vitamin D um, take your supplement in the winter absolutely. Okay Mary what's the third thing that we should consider when we're thinking about our health? Uh, the number three thing is fiber, something so basic, but it's so important. Uh, fiber is very good for a number of reasons. Um, the first thing it does is it can actually lower your cholesterol. If you eat a fatty uh, meal, the cholesterol will bind to the fiber and you can excrete it. It helps fill you up, so it helps balance your blood sugar. You don't get glycemic spiking. Um, and the other thing is it helps keep you regular. And when you have a good combination of soluble fiber and insoluble fiber, you have a much healthier colon. So keep these top three tips in mind when considering your health. For Shaw TV, I'm Ann Gordonaire.